This game is almost 20 years old, and there's sprites that's... <laughs> Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, what is up? It is your boy Michael here with Playthroughs for you, bringing you another episode of our Pokemon Space World demo. And I accidentally ran back in here too fast and we're immediately in a battle, but that's okay because I just went to go heal and that was pretty much about it. So, we learned a couple interesting things last episode that dark types were initially supposed to be weak to normal and dark type as well which i find actually a little odd but i'm glad it did not stay that way as almost every pokemon can learn a normal type move such as tang the baby version of tangla which i think is really cool that they had a baby version planned of this pokemon love it some of these pokemon they still haven't even used which is actually insane to think about who do we got next? Para. Is that like a baby Parasect? Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Please don't you scratch. Uh, is it going to do a lot? Oh, it's alright. Ring Ring can take it. I believe. Don't crit us. Alright, we're good. As long as we hit, we missed. Poor Ring Ring. <clears throat> you tried. You tried. Alright, we got Cruise here. I also find it very interesting that some of the interfaces are not colored. A lot of the sprites have different colors. And then just the interface is straight black and white. Which I find very interesting. Bell Sprout. You gonna do over half? Oh, we just one hit KO. Cruise is going to hit level 13. So if you guys are new to the channel and you're unfamiliar with what Pokemon Space World demo is, just go ahead and check out that link in the description down below. It has a list to the playlist, I believe, as well. So definitely check that out. We are going to heal because I do want to get Ring Ring up. It is a new Pokemon. 100% we will only be using new Pokemon in this run-through. So you guys will get to experience what some of the Pokemon in this game are actually capable of. So really want to show off everything that I can with this ROM that was based off of the preview of the game they showed at the demo in 1996. Can you believe that? 1997. Oh my gosh. That's almost as old as I am. Crazy. It's only a few years off. Only a few years off. All right. Five Floor Tower was built many centuries ago. It is our honor to keep sacred to this place. So it looks like we're going to be traveling up this tower here this episode, just taking on whatever trainers we run into. We got Sage Nico here. Ring Ring. Okay. So we know that if we use Cut on here and actually land, we're probably going to Oko this. Oh. Oh, wow. We didn't. It's going to use Growl. That's fine. We'll go ahead and use Scratch because it's guaranteed to hit. I did, by the way, go ahead and shave. Oh my gosh, it was too hot for that beard. It was just too hot for me. That's a lot of experience. Can we learn a dark type move? <sighs> Ask and you shall receive. Grimby. What is... Is this a baby Grimer? Get out of here. No way. Oh my goodness. Hard. It has to be, right? Look at that nose. Or is that the mouth? That has to be the mouth. Right? It's not a nose. Now that I said nose, you can't unsee it. It's a nose. There's just no other way about it. Alright, Oddish is not going to have a normal type move, which is good for us. So we'll be able to hopefully just KO it without any issue. We didn't get Sun Spored or put to sleep, so... That's the good stuff right there, I'll be honest. You guys are really enjoying this uh, playthrough. I'm really excited. A lot of you are super hyped. Comment and let me know what you think of the baby Pokemon. I think they're absolutely hilarious as well. Alright, so that was... Did we read this? Let's go ahead and read this. 
This is the fifth floor tower, an ancient monument that's dedicated to the Pokemon that enriched the lives of humans. Carefully read the information by each statue above to understand what it teaches. Okay, cool. All right, well, let's just talk to these people. What brings you here? Um, I have been tasked by Kurt to come here. Oh, medium Martha. Bell sprout. Okay. Ring Ring has to evolve at least once. It seems pretty strong early on, so probably only evolves once. I don't recall using it in my last playthrough. I don't think I had found it in the grass. I don't think I actually went to go look for it. But we will be using it here. Just bite. Growth. Not going to do anything. Not worried about that at all. 108 experience. Tang. Good old Tang. Also a drink. What a cry, by the way. Is that an existing cry? That sounds very familiar. That did not sound like a new cry to me. That was two crits in a row. Ring ring, you absolute animal. What a what a rin ring. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. I literally been calling it ring ring and it's rin ring. That is a much cooler name than what I initially thought it was. None of you corrected me either in the comment section. I don't know. Twin Boros, what is this? This looks cool. Is that a ghost type? That is wicked. What is this? I want this. Tackle? Okay. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of damage. Maybe it's just normal type. If it was normal type, though, it would have resisted my bite. Wow, that's a lot of experience. What is that Pokemon? I want one. I hope we can find it here. A Rin Ring. Alright. We have Bite, which is superior to our normal type moves, because we have that Stab, and we get the one-hit KO. Yo, this Pokemon is good. Sorry I pronounced your name wrong the entire time. It's like a little dark cat. How adorable. But it's also a killing machine. This is a statue of Pikachu. Pikachu reminds us that even when the most popular Pokemon still deserve to be treated with honor and respect, I'm not just viewed as some sort of status symbol. Wow, that's like so heavy for a game made after they glamorized Pikachu in Gen 1. But it's true though, you have to respect everything. Alright, Medium Bethany sent out Ghastly. Now this is a ghost type. Here's the true test. Is Dark super effective against ghost types? It is. Okay. Alright. Well, we one hit. That's pretty good. Man, Ren Ring is doing work. Oh my goodness. You disturbed me. Sorry. Ma'am, I guess you're like, I don't know, channeling or whatever. Alright, Oddish. Okay. I like the sprites that are different. They make me really happy, seeing different sprite work. I think it's cool. I think it's really cool. Let's just go ahead and switch these, because we're going to be using our bite a lot more than anything else. Absorb. Maybe do like 4 or 5 damage. I think we only KO from here if we get a crit. Okay. Didn't need a crit. We did KO. Did not need the crit. Alright. Wow. It is important to keep focus. Dude, as soon as we got Bite, Ring Ring, so good. Super incredible. Above the fifth floor is access to the roof, but even we are not granted to set foot in that sacred place. Alright. So this is floor three. We have the ground floor, then floor two, then floor three. Twin Boros. This is a wickedly cool looking Pokemon. 
Why did this not make the cut? What Pokemon is this? We get the double flinch. This is fat experience. We're going to be level 13 now up with Cruise. Oh, I was completely wrong. Grimby. We'll just go ahead and... Go ahead and fight here. Whew. That was a flinch. Dude. I feel like we are flinching a lot. wonder if the chance was higher in this game. Sage Ping was defeated. You appear to treat your Pokemon well. I mean, I hope so. I'm not trying to be mean or anything. I sense that a long journey away too. Alright, cool. I guess that's good. I'm not going to get wrecked early. Edmund sent out Bellsprout. Alright, I think we can afford to use some cuts here. Instead of bite. Growth. Alright. This should KO. That's good stuff. Oddish. I think we're fine. A lot of grass type Pokemon here, just like in um, the actual Bell Sprout Tower. Except it's all Bell Sprouts and not assorted random grass Pokemon like Oddish and Bell Sprout. Nothing wrong with that at all. I love seeing all the different changes, man. The map is completely different. It's a completely different layout. Completely different layout, and I love it. it. Makes me very happy. I think we're gonna go back and heal after this battle. Growl it. So here's the real question Do we just speed forward a bunch and hatch this egg? I think the answer to that might be yes. I think the answer to that might be yes. Because we can. We can still speed this game up. That's a lot of experience. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go ahead and head back down. Apparently we can run into Pokemon on the fifth floor. Is what I remember seeing. Could be wrong. We could just run into Pokemon anywhere on this tower. Alright, so let's go ahead and heal. And then I think we're going to speed hatch this egg. To be completely honest with you, I kind of want to see if it's still Togepi. I've never really used Togepi. So, and it's not necessarily a new Pokemon if that's what it is, so. We will not be using it. Alright, so that's clear. What happens? Okay, so we're just going to speed hatch this thing, I think? And hopefully the music is not, like, too glaring of an issue. So, let's go ahead and check it out. It's gonna hatch real so Hold on. What was that egg sprite? Look at that. No dots or anything. Oh, no, no. I accidentally pressing the wrong buttons. Alright, cool. So it's gonna hatch probably in, like, three seconds. There we go. Okay, is it Tokopi? That's the question. Oh my gosh, it's a Tri-Tails. It is a legit baby Pokemon. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so in theory, this is a new Pokemon. Okay. However, it does not evolve into a new Pokemon, so we will not be using it. That is absolutely adorable, though. I'm not going to lie. That's cool. So it's not a Togepi, which I like. Not really a big fan of Togepi, to be completely honest with you. Let's go ahead and read this sign. This is a statue of Tentacruel. Despite its large and intimidating appearance, Tentacruel teaches us that all Pokemon have pure hearts. This statue is dedicated to a Tentacruel that uses its tentacles to lift a drowning child out of the river next to this tower. So it kind of reminds me of the episode of where... <sighs> They, it's like the this lady's building a huge, huge um, 
Oh my gosh. What is it? I'm trying to remember what it is. Oh my gosh. It's an amusement park. An amusement park and like resort and everything else right on the water with a tentacle inhabit. And they get super mad and they just don't want humans building on their home. What an episode that was, by the way, for like children to the point that got across to me as a child was like, don't disturb other people. <laughs> but like now as an adult, I'm like, oh, I understand now what they're trying to say in that episode. There's a system of checks and balances in nature. And humans were disrupting that system. Please continue. Thank you. I will. Mainly because I don't have a choice. What does climbing this tower mean to me? I'm not sure. To be completely honest with you. I am not sure. Sage Jeffrey sent out Rin Ring. Okay, so we're going to easily KO this. We have the advantage. Now, this thing does have bite. But if we can flinch it. Or get a crit. You just... This game is too good to me. This game is too good to me. Well then. Thank you. Alright. Oh, so this is... Oh, I thought that was it. Is that how... Oh, I sensed that it was right decision for you to make this journey. Well, thank you, kind sir. These guys are so friendly. They are so friendly. Sage Lee. Bellsprout. Alright. Got some friendly monks up here. Some sages. Man, that was some damage, I will tell ya. Ring Ring Rin Ring is definitely gonna hit level 14. Alright. Headbutt? That's a very powerful move for level 14. Let's get rid of Scratch. I'd rather keep Growl. There are little trees in this town. I think we actually might be able to utilize that. Which would be awesome. That would be very good. That is some good damage right there. Some good damage. Does Bite and Headbutt do the same amount? I don't know. Hard to tell when we're critting all the time. Hard to tell. Who do we will switch? Bring it in, Cruz. What is going to be happening here? We have water gun. I think that's a safe move for us to use here. Let's go ahead and switch those two moves around. Should do over half, I think. Right under, but that's fine. The growl does nothing since we're special attacking with water gun. No crit, that's fine. Tackle. Do a handful of damage. Three, to be exact. Cruz is a tank, man. What does this thing evolve into? There still is not a Pokemon that, that is this. So, they still have unused Pokemon from this game. Which is absolutely insane, considering it's... I mean, when did the development on this start? When do you guys think the development on this started? It was showcased in 1997. Right? My assumption is that it, it was in development for maybe a year or two before then. So, 95. So, this game is almost 20 years old and there's sprites that still... <laughs> what is this Pokemon? Oh my gosh. What? This... That, this is hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. I don't care who you are. That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Whew. Wow. Anyway, as I was saying, this game is almost 20 years old and there's still Pokemon that have not been used from this game. Rings level 15. Yeah, look at that special attack stat. Speed is real high too. That was too funny. Oh my goodness, was that funny. Alright, this is a statue of Ho-Oh. 
the legendary bird Pokemon that once made roost on the top of this tower. May we honor its nesting place so that one day it may return. I one day wish to see the sacred bird with my own eyes. I cannot. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. That was hilarious. Whew. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Whew, baby. You know why they didn't give Paris a baby Pokemon? Because Paris sucks so bad that the stats on Para would have been absolutely abysmal. That's that's my own thought process behind that one. That's the only reasonable thing I can think of. I really like the Hoot Hoot sprite with those dots. I wonder why they got rid of them. I think Hoot Hoot looks way cooler with these three dot sprites underneath its eyes. I like it. I think I like this sprite more than the original. Or, I guess, what with what they went with. I like this sprite a lot. A game lost to time, ladies and gentlemen. A game lost to time. Crazy to think about. They should just remake this, to be honest with you. Alright, guys. Well, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Just want to give a special shout-out to my patrons over at Patreon. You guys are absolutely amazing. And please welcome a brand new patron, Tommy T. Thank you so much, dude, for joining the Big Dong Lord Club. You guys are absolutely amazing. And for the rest of you, whether it's watching, liking, comment, subscribing, or sharing my content, any way that you all support the channel is truly appreciated. And until next time, I will see all you beautiful people later. Thanks so much for watching.